Chapter 95 The Top 10 Savage Beasts. Xiao Hing Chen exchanged a look with her younger sister, Neng Hing Chen, then laughed bitterly. Shrek. What an academy. Did you hear? Those little fellows are only 12 years old, over two years younger than us. They will be our rivals in five years. Neng Hing Chen was still unconvinced. So what? They'll never rival our abilities. Xiao Hing Chen forced a laugh, but I'm fearful, not because of their prowess, nor because of their twin martial souls, but because of their unwavering and intimidating spirit, something that's unique to Shrek Academy. As for us, we lack of all these. Meng Hing Chen chewed on her words, and after a moment of silence, she lowered her voice and said, Brother, can you understand why are they so stubborn? Is it worth it? This is only a competition. Are they not worried that they will end up sustaining critical injuries that will lead to a regression in their abilities, or even permanent disability? Ma Ruan appeared beside them suddenly and said in a deep voice, We are unaware because we are not members of Shrek. Yesterday, we received news from the Academy that Shrek Academy sent us invitations. They cordially invite members of our Academy over for an exchange. The Academy has already chosen the two of you to lead the group, and we hope that the two of you can satisfy your thirst for knowledge and find what you seek in Shrek Academy. Xiao Hing Chen's eyes betrayed a look of obvious astonishment. She nodded her head after a moment of stupefaction and said, Okay, when Huo Yuan regained consciousness, he felt intense pain pulsing through his body. The pain seemed to originate from his bone marrow, and from there to his skeleton, his passageways, his organs, and even his brain. Every single part of his body was throbbing in agony. He groaned from the acute discomfort. Fortunately, his mind was clear. He relied on his resolute and gradually repressed these painful sensations, eventually adapting to them. He did not rush to look outside as he closed his eyes. The soft and comfortable mattress told him that he was already back in the hotel. His first observation was the state of his physical body. He was able to acutely sense the changes in every part of his body with only his immense spiritual power and without using any skills at all. Upon closer inspection, Huo Yuan realized that there was nothing amiss with his body. Even his soul power had regenerated on its own to around 20% of its full strength. He also had no idea why his body ached so much, especially the swelling pain in the trunk of his body and in his passageways. He couldn't help but recall the time when he had fused with the bones and essence of the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion. He didn't just feel pain; he also had to endure an intense itch that was the most unbearable feeling. The bones of the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion. Huo Yuan had a sudden epiphany. Yes, it must be because the Ice Empress had channeled the power of her bones, and he himself had actually. Used a 400,000 year old bones power twice in a row within a short period of time. It was no wonder his body was rebelling. It was already a miracle that his passageways and his bones were not majorly affected. With that in mind, Huo Yuan immediately concentrated on channeling the soul power in his body according to the mysterious heaven technique. The technique itself had rejuvenating qualities in and of itself, and was thus the most optimal choice. Indeed, once his soul power circulated through his body, he began to feel cool sensations coursing through his body, and his pain was instantly reduced considerably. As the pain receded, his mind became clearer and more lucid. The first question he thought of was, "Did we win?" There was no way he could answer his own question. All he could remember was that he seemed to call for aid from the Ice Empress, and when the Ice Empress made her move, he blacked out, and everything that came after that was unknown to him. He had sacrificed way too much for this competition. How could he not be concerned about the outcome? He murmured under his breath even before he opened his eyes. Did we win? Don't worry, victory is ours. We defended the honor and glory of Shrek. A tender voice rang out from beside his ears. Once he heard these words, a wave of indescribable relief flowed through his entire body. He felt his entire body relax as he was bathed in tranquility. We won, we won. We managed to protect the honor and dignity of Shrek. After a tiny moment of exhilaration with that reply in mind, he wanted to open his eyes. However, he eventually fell into a deep sleep. The toll on his body was simply too great, and he needed some time to recuperate. You guys are so You guys are so powerful. The person that was sitting beside Huo Yuan's bed, and who had conveyed the news of their victory to him was the appointed group leader of the squad sent forth to participate in the competition. Ma Shao, the competition was over, and Huo Yuan and all the others were either injured or expended. Wang Dong's condition was the most positive, but even he had gone out like a light and fainted in the end. Only Jiang Nanan was able to retain her consciousness. Under such a circumstance, how could Wang Yan cope on his own? He could only inform Ma Shao, whose injuries had recovered significantly by now, as well as Dai Yahang and Ling Luokin. As for the situation with the competition, he could no longer conceal the truth, and neither did he want to do so anymore. After listening to Wang Yan's recounting of what had happened, Ma Shao and the two others fell into a deep silence. Along with Wang Yan, they bore the heavy responsibility of taking care of Huo Yuan and the others. Wang Yan accompanied the therapist sent forth by the Sao Empire to care for Xia Xiao and Bei Bei, who were both heavily injured. Dai Ya Heng was responsible for Yi Ketu, while Ling Luokin took care of Wang Dong. Ma Xiao was naturally watching over Huo Yuao. Jiang Nanan had to take care of Shu Sanchi, that lucky chap, no matter how reluctant she was, and she couldn't just leave him to die. There was nobody else left, and in light of his heavily damaged vitality and outstanding performance, she took it upon herself to take care of Shu Sanchi. This was the night after the competition, and Huo Yuao woke up momentarily in a daze. Wang Dong was just as expended and exhausted, but for some reason, he was still stuck in a deep sleep. Yi Ketu was naturally stronger, and was in a much better state after a series of treatments. Even Bei Bei, who was more heavily injured, was awake by now. Only Xiao Xiao, who was in a far more dire state, remained unconscious, though her injuries had stabilized. It was hard to say how long she would need to fully recover. The Star Luo Empire deployed their best medical resources to aid them in their recovery. Ma Xiao drew a blanket over Huo Yuao and caressed his her face was extremely serene and endearing as she whispered, You are, do you know? Do you know that I am angry, and I'm angry with myself? I am the group leader, and all this should have been my responsibility, but I gave it all to you guys instead. Rest assured, we will soon bear the mantle of defending Shrek's glory, and I will let everyone know that Shrek Academy will not be bullied or disgraced. Her voice was soft and gentle, but one could see a cold fog of in the deepest recesses of her eyes. Her loss of ground against the evil soul master had heavily affected her. In this competition, Huo Yuan and the other's performance also made her extremely agitated. She had never felt such belligerence before. The next time Huo Yuan came to, it was already the next morning. His physique had undergone a drastic change after the infusion of the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion's bones. This time, his exhaustion did not just stem from the expenditure of his soul power. More substantially, it came from when the Ice Empress was manipulating his body and channeled the true power of the bones. His body was nearly unable to withstand the pressure. After a day and night of recuperation, in addition to the natural regenerative abilities of his bones and bodily functions, and bodily functions. He felt a lot better than before. Ma Xiao drifted into his sight the moment he opened his eyes. Ma Xiao was not clad in red like she usually was. Instead, she was wearing a cascading white dress and was just quietly sitting there, with her flowing pink hair hanging loosely behind her back. There was an enchanting beauty and tranquility about her. Sister Xiao Tao, Huo Yuan shouted in shock. Ma Xiao grinned and said, What? Are you feeling better? Huo Yuan sensed the state of his body. His soul power was almost fully replenished, and even though he could feel throbbing aches all over his body, his passageways were intact. The sentence spoken by the Ice Empress when she took over his body floated into his mind. Control, you must be able to control every single ounce of power in your body with meticulous accuracy, and only then can you defeat a stronger opponent. The true power of the Ice Empress was not something that his current body could handle. However, after the first channeling of her power, the reason why his body was hurt but not damaged was due to the Ice Empress perfect control. The impeccable manipulation was simply spectacular and breathtaking to him. I'm feeling a lot better. Hu
Yao, whose cheeks were flushed with embarrassment. You, you guys. Wang Dong gasped as he stood at the doorway, stunned at the sight before his eyes, which started to grow red. Ma Xiaotao stretched once more before she sauntered to the door and came up in front of Wang Dong. She tapped him lightly on the head. Don't think about all this nonsense at such a young age. I think he's fine, and you look like you've recovered as well. Go grab a bite together, she said as she pushed the door open and stepped out. This light tap on the head knocked Wang Dong to his senses, and he instantly reoriented himself. He scratched his head and laughed at himself. Yes, we're only twelve years old. How are you, Yu Hao? You look like you were just violated. Wang Dong snapped. Who are you out of? Who are you out of right back under his blanket? Xiao Tao was right. Your head is just full of nonsense with all that talk of violation. She said we won. So please tell me, how did we win? Wang Dong grunted and sat down on the same stool that Ma Xiao Tao had just gotten up from. Of course it was done with a single hammer stroke from my soul elder that silenced them all. Who are you I was a little confused, and asked curiously, was I not the one that dealt the winning blow? Even though he didn't know what had happened, he had absolute faith in the powers of the Ice Empress. Wang Dong recounted the final scenes of the battle in detail, including the part where he threw out the hammer. A hammer? Truly a masterstroke. That must be your second martial soul. What's it called? Who are you out asked curiously. Wang Dong watched his face of plain calmness and asked with amused impertinence, Aren't you surprised that I have two martial souls? Who are you out grunted and answered, What's so surprising about that? I've known that all along. Hey. Wang Dong glared and opened his eyes wide. No way. I've never revealed my second martial soul before. Who are you all laughed mischievously and said, but our martial souls have fused before. Don't you know the requirements for a martial soul fusion skill? Teacher Wang Yen said it before. Even though a martial soul fusion skill doesn't require both parties to have the same martial souls, they have to be compatible with each other. The strength of the martial soul fusion is also intricately connected to our compatibility, and our compatibility rate was so high that even Teacher Wang said it was extremely rare. How can it be that I have two martial souls and you only have one? I will never believe that. So, even though I don't know what it is, I've always known you had a second martial soul. Then why have you never asked? Wang Dong murmured as he lowered his head. Who are you all shrugged? Why would I? Everybody has their own secrets. Even though we are the best of friends, probing into other secrets is not a good thing. Everybody needs personal space. No. Wang Dong raised his head once again as he glanced at Who Are You Out with a look of astonishment. That means that you have a secret that I don't know about. Quick, spill it. Who Are You Out chortled and said with resolute righteousness, over my dead body. A cunning look came over Wang Dong's face. So you won't say it unless I beat you till you're dead? He pounced on Who Are You Out as he spoke. Help. Who Are You Out screamed as they fought into a bundle with a blanket separating them. Wang Dong tugged on the blanket and Who Are You Out, who was hiding underneath it, was instantly completely exposed. Ah. Uh. A shrill cry came out from Wang Dong's mouth as he saw the said little peanut that Ma Xiaotao was just talking about. Who are you all snatched the blanket back and glared at Wang Dong with furious eyes. You gangster. You even want to be the people of the same gender. Wang Dong recovered at the same time and shot back. So you've the people of the opposite gender. I. Of course I haven't. Who are you all denied? But the glorious images of his tryst with Ma Xiaotao inside sea gods. Inside sea gods like slowly drifted into his head. For young men, it is normal to have such fantasies as long as one doesn't lose control. Wang Dong leapt down from the bed with puffy cheeks and said, All right, go wash up and get dressed now so we can eat. I came to see you as soon as I woke up, so I'm vanished. I haven't eaten anything since the competition yesterday. As he spoke, he turned around and strolled over to the sofa on the side and closed his eyes as he turned away from Who Are You Out? Who Are You Out got out of bed as well and stretched his body, feeling sore all over. However, after a night's rest and the natural healing abilities of the mysterious heaven technique, his mobility was not affected. You're right, it's time to grab a bite. We should continue training and healing once we're done eating. My overdraft from the competition is serious, and my passageways are swelling with discomfort. We still have another round of the competition tomorrow, so we have to try our best to recover today. We've only cleared a single challenging hurdle, eh? Who's that? As they were speaking to each other, Hua Yuan suddenly felt an ominous tinge of alarm flash by in his head as he glanced towards the window subconsciously, following the continuous rise in his abilities and his training of the spiritual sea. Hua Yuan's spiritual awareness was a lot sharper than before. In addition to that fact, the arriving party had no intention to mask himself or herself, so Hua Yuan detected the intruder at the first possible instance. In a flash, a single person appeared before Hua Yuan. Fortunately, he was properly dressed at this point, and his little peanut wasn't exposed. The person who came was an elder, who was scraggy and of average height. However, he seemed to be brimming with energy. On the surface, he appeared to be around 60 years old, and his short hair was dark brown. His gaze was filled with passion and vigor as it landed on Hua Yuan. An invisible pressure bore down on Hua Yuan and stifled him instantly. Wang Dong, whose eyes were originally shut, immediately bounced up upon hearing Hua Yuan's voice and stood beside him. There was no doubt that the elderly man who had come in through the window didn't harbor good intentions. The elderly man did not respond. As he raised his right hand, Hu Yu and Wang Dong felt their eyes go dark as the surrounding light dimmed. A frightening soul power that left them fettered permeated the entire room in an instant. At this point, they felt like they were trapped in a cage, without even a chance to struggle and resist. As he watched the elderly man, Hu Yu was bewildered. He had never seen this man before and neither did he know what he was here for. Elder, who are you? Are you here to find me? Who are you out posed the same question again. At the same time, he lifted his hand to protect Wang Dong, who was behind him. Both he and Wang Dong did not unleash their martial souls at this moment, as they could sense the immense gap between them and this elderly man in front of them. He was not someone that could be resisted easily even if they teamed up together against him. Since this was the case, unleashing their martial souls would have the undesirable effect of provoking the elderly man. At the very least, they had to clarify the situation first. The elderly man's the elderly man snorted as he cast his piercing and vigorous gaze on Huo Yuan's face. He said indifferently, Tell me, which human form of the ten great savage beasts are you? While you have concealed yourself well, you can't fool me, even though you might fool others. Huo Yuan was incredulous as he replied, What do you mean, ten great savage beasts? Elder, I have no idea what you are talking about. You have no idea what I am talking about. Stop pretending, it's useless. Don't even think of trying to escape. With your current abilities, you don't stand a chance against me. I have already sealed this place with my soul power. Neither your voice nor your body will have a single shred of a chance of escaping. Huo Yuan furrowed his brows. Elder, I have seriously no idea what you're talking about or why you are here. The elderly man before it and seemed to be very proud of himself. Very well, since you're not going to admit anything, I shall expose you then. I shall let you die convinced. As he spoke, the elderly man stepped forward and his aura erupted, forcing who are you and Wang Dong to retreat uncontrollably. They even fell back onto the sofa. I am Cheng Gang, the protector duo of the Star Luo Empire. On that day, how did you manage to emerge victorious over your opponent during the competition between Shrek Academy and Justice Academy? After hearing his words, Who are Yuan's heart could not help but skip a beat, as he understood what the elderly man was talking about. While Who are Yuan was not exceptionally smart, he had become much more intelligent after he fused with the Sky Dream Ice Worm. Not only was he much more mature than others of the same age, he was also more pensive. He now understood that the elderly man could have sensed the aura of the Ice Empress, which explains the man's previous question. The elderly man had taken him for the human form of a hundred thousand year soul beast. As Cheng Gang looked at the stunned Hua Yuao, he assumed that Hua Yuao was feeling guilty over what he said and added, During the competition, you were forced to use your origin power.
man was talking about was actually the Snow Empress, as the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion called her. As for the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, wouldn't it be referring to the Ice Empress herself? What was it with these ten great savage beasts? The Titan Snow Devil King, ranked last among the three heavenly kings in the extreme north, was not even included. As for the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, she was even only ranked eighth among the ten savage beasts. The rankings were indeed frightening and astonishing. All right, you don't have to act foolish anymore. You won't stand a chance. I never expected my luck to be so good to be so good, that I would manage to catch one of the ten great savage beasts today. Whether you are the Snow Lady or the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion King, my reward will be an entire set of transcendent soul bones. Ha ha, ha ha ha. As he spoke, the elderly man extended his hand towards Huo Yuao, trying to grab hold of him. Huo Yuao did not resist, as both he and Wang Dong were completely helpless against the elderly man. The immense tidal billow level abilities of the elderly man allowed him to summon his soul power to suppress their actions. Once he grabbed hold of Huo Yuao, the elderly man tightened his grip on Huo Yuao's neck using his other hand. A gush of vast soul power surged instantly into Huo Yuao's body. At this point, Huo Yuao felt his body swelling up like a balloon. Regardless of whether it was the Sky Dream Ice Worm, the Ice Empress, or Electrolux, they did not react. Against an invincible opponent, none of them could save him with this diminutive figure of his. Huo Yuao felt that the whole situation was absurd. Am I just going to ridiculously die like that? It was only his first time seeing Chen Gang. Furthermore, he was not even any form of soul beast. Oh. Something's not right. Chen Gang was suddenly dazed, and the soul power that he had injected into Huo Yuao's body suddenly stalled. Following that, he swiftly rushed to the bedside and flung Huo Yuao onto the bed. After that, both of his hands slapped Huo Yuao's body rapidly. This time, the surge of soul power was considerably less than before. Huo Yuao could only feel a numbing sensation originating from the bones all around his body. He could not tell whether he was comfortable or feeling awful as this sensation coursed through his entire body. But Chen Gang's dense soul power did agitate the circulation of blood in his veins, which alleviated the overbearing pain caused by the Ice Empress. As Chen Gang increased the frequency of his slaps on Huo Yuao's body with his palms, his expression became more and more dismal too. Finally, he wrenched Huo Yuao from the bed and dragged him in front of him, bellowing, Are you not the rebirth of a savage beast? Huo Yuao stared at him coldly. Since when did I tell you that I am the rebirth of a savage beast? I am a true, living human being. Chen Gang reacted to his words like a deflated balloon and threw Huo Yuao onto the bed violently. Then, he said depressingly, How is this possible? How is this possible? I clearly sense the aura of a savage beast. I can't be wrong. Only extremely powerful savage beasts will possess such a strong undulation of life force. Under the suppression of his soul power, Huo Yuao was immobile. However, he could still speak. That's because of your own greed. There's no harm in telling you. My ice martial soul is indeed the ice jade scorpion. Chen Gang's face was struck with a look of revelation. So that's the case. So that's the case. It's just that. How are you able to make the aura of the martial soul of your ice jade scorpion appear with traces of the ice jade empress scorpion? This is impossible. Moreover, how did the martial soul of the ice jade scorpion appear? I have never heard of anyone who possesses such a martial soul. With regards to this title Dilura elder who had appeared so abruptly, who are you? I was extremely riled up, and he bellowed in rage. How should I know? Aren't you the title Dilura here? You should know better than I do. But you came here to grab me before even clarifying the situation. For Forget it, Yuao. This elder is not being deliberate here either. Wang Dong finally spoke, and his voice in an unusual, tender tone. He even coupled the smile on his face with adulation. People cannot avoid making mistakes. Elder Cheng might be a super expert, a title duo, but it's inevitable that he will make mistakes too. He's not doing this on purpose, and he didn't cause you any real harm either. Just forget it. As he said that, Wang Dong even shot a look at Huo Yuao. They had been partners for such a long time, to the point where they were practically telepathic. Huo Yuao felt his heart skip a beat as he instantly understood what Wang Dong was trying to do and scowled at himself. He wasn't as calm as Wang Dong in such a crucial moment. Only the three of them were inside the room at this moment, and the entire room had been sealed off. If this title duo wanted to cover up what had just transpired, or if he suddenly felt murderous and wanted to silence them forever, then nobody could save them. However, a sudden change in attitude wasn't the way to go either. Huo Yuao grunted once and stopped talking entirely. Chen Gang growled, It's just my bad luck. You two little kids better watch your mouths. Wang Dong inquired, I haven't asked. What is your title? Chen Gang snorted indifferently and said, Neither of you are worthy of knowing it. As he spoke, he waved his right hand and withdrew the soul power in the room. With that, he leapt through the window, and his figure vanished. Only when they couldn't feel the intense pressure more did Wang Dong and Huo Yuao heave a heavy sigh of relief at the same time. They could sense how close they had been to death in front of power as real as what had just stood before them. Huo Yuao walked up to close the window once again. He clenched his fists tightly and turned to Wang Dong. We were bullied and humiliated just because we're weak. I will remember his humiliation by heart, and I will avenge it. Wang Dong didn't respond directly, instead changing the subject. Wash up. Let's go eat. All right. Who are you acknowledged and stepped into the bathroom? At this moment, he felt as if the dormant sky dream ice worm and ice jade emperor scorpion had just woken from their slumber. There are truly many talented individuals hiding in plain sight. I only released a single strand of my aura that day, and I was instantly discovered. How dangerous. However, it was only a weak title duo who knew that a day like this would come, when a person with abilities as weak as his could stomp around arrogantly before me. Back in the day, I would have turned him into an ice statue. The ice empress voice was filled with fury and exasperation. Who are you outside and asked? Ice Empress, what are the ten great savage beasts? The ice empress knew that he was feeling a little despondent, and thus explained patiently, the ten great savage beasts is a term used by humans to refer to the ten most powerful soul beasts on the mainland. It's only a ranking given to the few that they know. That guy is an idiot. Once we break through the once we break through the 200,000 year mark, we cannot be reborn into a human anymore. The weakest of the ten great savage beasts have already had more than 300,000 years to reach mastery. How can they take human forms? He didn't even consider that. Huo Yuao was distracted by this discussion about the ten savage beasts. Who is on the list? I didn't know that there were so many transcendent soul beasts. The Ice Empress answered, You wouldn't know even if I told you. However, the ten savage beasts may not be the most powerful soul beasts. Put simply, the older a soul beast is, the more powerful it becomes. However, the list curated by humans doesn't include the oceanic soul beasts. Even if the list only included the soul beasts on land, it doesn't include entities like Skydream, who train through hibernation, and other powerful entities who haven't been discovered by you humans. Oceanic soul beasts? Are they powerful? Who are you out asked in astonishment? The Ice Empress replied without hesitation. Of course they are powerful. However, the truly powerful ones all reside in the deepest abyss of the ocean. Furthermore, humans have limited abilities to venture into the sea, so the oceanic soul beasts aren't disturbed by humans as much as the soul beasts on land. Thus overall, they are collectively more powerful than the soul beasts on land. However, the competition for survival in the ocean is a lot crueler, so the various breeds of soul beasts in the ocean are a lot larger than those on land. Therefore, even powerful oceanic soul beasts run the risk of death if they meet an even more terrifying species of soul beast. This is the reason why I cannot confirm whether oceanic soul beasts can rival the most powerful soul beast on land. Who are you out nodded in acknowledgement and asked, who's topping the list of ten savage beasts? What's his power like? I'm not too sure myself. The Ice Empress answered, You should ask the Sky Dream Ice Worm. Maybe he'll know. All I know is that the leader of the 
The ice jade empress scorpion muttered darkly, the sky dream ice worm fearlessly exclaimed, Come, fight me. Since we're all locusts on the same string, you all will die if I die, and you will be gone if he dies. Humph. Okay, stop arguing, let's just go to sleep. Puro Yuao tapped himself on the head as he felt a headache coming on. The Ice Empress said, Yuao, your body is slowly recovering. You should work hard to break through to rank 30, then you'll be able to control my powers more smoothly. At least, you'll be able to protect yourself much better. Yes, Puro Yuao answered. At this point, the frail old voice of Electrolux rang out. Obtain the ominous soul-devouring carving knife as quickly as you can. It holds great meaning for you, and for me as well. With it, my consciousness will no longer run the risk of dissipating. Okay. Compared to the Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Ice Empress, who are Yuao was more deferential towards the Electrolux, and even trusted his words more. He wasn't just calm and composed, he used to be a human himself. Once he finished washing up, who are Yuao went out for a meal with Wang Dong. Neither of them mentioned anything about what had just transpired, even though their opponent had been a titled duo, it had still been a great humiliation. Furthermore, their team were the only members of Shrek Academy inside Sao Lu City, as they were the contest participants, and the leader of the entire group was Teacher Wang Yan, who was only a soul king, who could seek justice for them. That guy was a titled duo from the Sao Lu Empire. This humiliation would be forever imprinted in their hearts. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.